back on the path, I'm meeting someone who knows this bit of the trail better than anyone else. You walked the whole of the coast path over 630 miles, you would be walking the equivalent to walking up Everest four times. Goodness, me, it's a canny journey, that then. And you've taken me round to what, is this near head then, or near this point? This is uh, near point. It's where Ealing Studios came and built a false Falmouth during the Second World War. They did what? Well, they built this area here because they wanted to uh, deflect any of the German bombs from the Falmouth docks. Well, during the day, there would be nothing here, really, except a lot of wires and bulbs. But at night, it looked like a film set. And there'll be the stop-and-go signs uh, of the trains. There'll be doors opening and white lights coming out. And they would actually have uh, paraffin troughs that they would set light to. And this was all remote-controlled, so there was people down the coast there setting this off. So this would actually, hopefully, be a decoy site to, to get the German bombers to bomb here. And did they ever bomb it? They did, actually, in 1944, and they actually dropped about nine bombs here. So it did work. It's an incredible place, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's just getting better and better. Shall we keep going? Yeah.